very vigilant um, uh, eyes across the market. Well, we want to now shift gears and talk matters to do with the ICT sector. And of course, uh, one of the key areas of uh, interest for many Kenyans is the fact that Konza Techno City has it literally kicked off as they had expected. And uh, we are now joined by the principal secretary in charge of ICT, Jerome Ocheng, joining us from uh, Nairobi. Well, thank you to jo for joining us, uh, PS. And uh, just a quick update, uh, Konza is in the minds of Kenyans. Is it another white elephant? <laughs> thank you very much, Abby. I wish to confirm that really Konza is in very much uh, progress. It is not a white elephant. And actually a number of things has happened. And uh, I would wish just to enumerate some of the things that has so far happened. Well, le let me start from the background that uh, the intention behind Konza was to have a techno city. And like they've always said, Rome was not built in a day. I thought, I mean, the, the, the impression people had was that this was a project that was going to run, you know, like a road construction, like a building construction. But this is a long-term project that is actually going to take uh, a number of years uh, to, be, to, be, to be clearer. And uh, one of the things that we managed to do is that we started with what we are calling the horizontal infrastructure. The horizontal infrastructure here included issues relating to roads, the provision of streetscaping, uh, electricity, water reticulation facilities, water management facilities, solid waste management. All this we had to first of all put them in place so that once all these uh, necessary infrastructure in place, then the other issues of building come really now come on board. You know, I think uh, Kenyans, we are used to a scenario whereby somebody sets up a building, then later thinks about where he will get electricity from, where he will get water from, or where he will get other utilities from. We did the reverse, and whereby we started with the element of provision of all this uh, necessary infrastructure, and then thereafter, I mean, people can now talk about building. So I want to confirm that we are really very much on course, and a number of things have, uh, have really happened. And uh, we are well on course because, uh, for example, we have issues relating to now our data center facility that is already in place uh, at Konza. We are also talking about a number of projects that are coming up. One of our key projects was uh, the, the Konza Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, which essentially is uh, a university that uh, is going to be focusing on science and technology because we are focusing on ensuring that we prepare our children and especially our youth with the skills that are required in the future. So uh, the uh, Konza Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, the uh, the university there is going to work very closely. A lot, uh, with a lot of ground covered indeed. Uh, indeed, I, I can confirm uh, you, we are slightly on track, but uh, to also amplify this conversation, uh, P.S. Jerome, uh, of course, Kenyans are literally moving into the gig economy, which is pretending to unlock a huge potential for the unemployed youth in the country. Perhaps talk to us about the digital skills in brief. Okay. Well, thank you very much again, Abi, on that. I fully agree with you that uh, really, uh, I always use this phrase, the future is digital. And the future can only be di digital if uh, you can only take advantage of this particular future if you begin preparing now. We have a number of uh, strategies that we have used in terms of preparing ourselves for the uh, digital market. One of the things that we've done, you're all aware of the digital learning program, that uh, had, uh, the, the, the intention was to ensure that we begin preparing our young people from a very, very early stage in terms of uh, digital skills. So we have uh, the digital learning program that has so far distributed more than one million digital learning devices to the more than 22,000 primary schools. Equally, the teachers have already been trained on this ones, uh, I mean, on how to use the digital devices, and they are now using uh, the digital devices. All I want right, to yes. see that the, the, I mean, if you allow me, I quickly say that the coming up of okay. COVID really taught us the importance 
of uh, and the need of using uh, technology because you realize right now that uh, quite a number of institutions have begun embracing technology at a speed that would rather have not taken place because of issues relating to resistance. But now, like they've always said, the need has actually arisen and uh, people are really beginning to embrace technology more than ever before. All right, thank you, Pierce. And of course, we'll still continue engaging with you. I'd like you to stay on. We'll come back to you later on. And Brenda, a lot happening across the borders when you look at Zanzibar, Kenya. There's uh, some buzz around the two countries. 